Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we'll be talking about how I was able to get into public sector in less than seven days without even having a PR in Canada. And since this was one of the most liked video in all our social media platform, I'll be breaking it down step by step. So by the end of this video, you will exactly know how you can also get into public sector if you are in Canada. And make sure to watch this video till the end because if you miss any of these steps, then fastening the process can be a little challenging. So without further ado, let's jump straight in. And of course, before we dive in, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also press that bell icon so that you get notified every single week whenever we post these kind of informative videos. So let's jump into it. So step number one, go on jobs.ec.ca and start applying for all the entry level roles in your own field. And when you're applying for these jobs, don't just apply for inventories, apply for competitions as well. And if you want to learn more in depth about what's the difference between a competition and an inventory, let me know in the comments and I can make another video for you. Step number two, make sure you fix your resume and bring it down to one page strong, ATS friendly using STAR method. And if you're not sure how to make a strong resume, what is the STAR methodology? Check out this video in which I have shared step by step on how you can make a strong resume by yourself. In fact, a lot of students have reached out to me asking about my own resume. So you can also download my editable resume that I have used in the past to apply for public sector jobs from the description below. Step three, and this is one of the most important step, go on Google, type in GOC informal Facebook groups and don't get confused. You're gonna see a bunch of groups that's gonna open up. Fun fact, Government of Canada hires informally a lot more than you think. And a couple of these groups are just for internal staff, but few of them are open for the public. So make sure you join these groups. Step four, once you're in these groups, you're gonna see hiring managers posting for jobs informally, and they are looking for students. They're looking for people to get started within public sector as soon as possible. Step five is all about networking. Once you're in these groups, once you know these are the hiring managers, go out there and connect with them. Send them a cold email, attach a strong resume to it. And if you're not sure how to write a cold email, don't worry, we'll be posting a video on that shortly. So stay tuned on that. And if you're not sure how to connect, how to network with hiring managers, please let me know in the comments and I would love to make a separate video on that. And lastly, it all comes down to how consistently you're following all the first five steps. Make it a part of your life. 15 minutes a day, just like you're spending time on LinkedIn, spend some time on these Facebook groups connect with these hiring managers who are already in the public sector, who already know how to get in. And this is how I was able to get into public sector in less than seven days. And if done properly, you can also get into it. And that's it for today. If you have any other doubts, any other queries, please let us know in the comments and I would love to resolve it for you. If there's anything specific you want us to add in our upcoming videos, you can also let us know that. But until then, stay safe, take care and start networking. Best of luck.